I'm gonna make this video real short and sweet. Thank you guys for coming back. This is an update to my last video where I talked about the small rig handle, the wireless follow focus. I decided to get a small rig handle so that I can attach to it, so that it can work seamlessly with my production setup. But at the same time, I found out that the Rosetta handle, it's a little bit too long so it doesn't screw it. Yes, I could jimmy rig it and cut it, but I don't want to spend that much money on something that I actually have to mess up. I went through the whole process. I tried to switch out one of the handles, switch out one of the pieces, did everything for it. It just wasn't working. But I returned it and instead I got this, which is the small rig handle. This is the small rig side handle with two-in-one locating screw. So it actually opens up or it closes, or I should say retracts when you screw in the piece. So this should be the piece that works. Let's open it up, find out. So this will be an unboxing here with you. Let's just see exactly what happens. So as we open it, comes with your standard handle. All right now, what I like best about this handle is just the grip. It's actually pretty firm. It's like a rubber grip almost, pretty firm. It has a slot here, which you can actually use to put your monitor. I'll probably go into that a little bit later. It also has the one quarter holes on top. So if you want to place anything in here, you can also do so. So I'll probably use this to attach my monitor on this handle, like so. Take off my monitor because right now it's currently showing me, but I'll display it when I get to it later. And I can use this in conjunction with the wheel so that now I can get the perfect focus while on set. Let's go through the process. So we have our handle. This is garbage, I'll just put that to the side. Then we also have the most important piece here, which is this, and this actually goes into the wheel. So just to test it out, you'll be testing it out with me first, just to see if it's gonna work. And made the locking sound, and it goes in seamlessly. So, right there we can see that this will be attached to my handle. So what we'll do from here, I'll leave this just like so. Then I'll unscrew the back piece because this is what actually connects to the handle. And once I get this out, of course, um, I'll attach it to the handle. And the good thing about this handle is that it also comes with its own Allen wrench. So if you ever have to set up and unscrew in a scenario like this, it makes the process easy. So this is one of the reasons why I love small rig parts. Not to say that other companies aren't good as well, but I like small rig because they just have everything together. Right? So what we'll do here, since this is set this way, I don't know, do I want it this side? I'll set it this way. Now all I have to do is find and, oops, locate those pieces. I'll probably drop that in like so. That's located. Screw it in. Got the first side in. So that's in tightly. Put back your Allen key on the bottom. And we now have our focus wheel attached to a handle. So from here, this can just be a simple Turn, and it's done, right? But what I want to show, what I really want to use it for, outside of that, is taking my monitor. So I'll just have to grab this here. So this is actually my viewing monitor. I actually have to take this off. I'll screw this on. Make sure it's tight. I'll need an Allen wrench, but I'll screw that tightly a little bit later. Interesting. Ah, that would make sense if it's not screwed, right? Of course, you'd have to tighten it with the Allen wrench as well, but I'm just going to tighten it just for demonstration purpose. And here we have our follow focus on our monitor. Small budget setup. This is the Hollyland M1 Mars. I'll probably do a review on this later, but this will be the typical setup when you're on set. So now I have my focus wheel. I can 
pull focus here. I can see everything clear as day. Now, the only bad thing about this handle is that if you want to attach it to something else, there's no end piece. Like I can't attach it back to the end of this to stand up. So you actually have to hold it. Or when you're just putting it down, you just have to put it down in some safe location. Otherwise, I say that this was a good buy. I'll put a link in the description for this part. This is once again, the side handle with two in one locating screw. If you're looking to upgrade your small rig wireless set, you can attach this handle to the controller. So if there's any questions, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you like this setup and I'll see you guys in the next one.